welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. My name is Holly and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a duck out of balloons. Uh, this is a request I don't get too often, but it's kind of fun to be able to make one if uh, somebody does happen to ask you for a duck. And since Easter and springtime is coming up on us, you might actually get some requests for this. So here's a duck that I use whenever anyone asks me for one. And I think he's pretty cute, so I hope that you like him too. For my duck, I'm going to need two orange 260s, a yellow 260, and either a white 260 or a white 5 inch round. I'll show you both ways, but uh, for this video I'm going to be using a white 260. So, to get started, I'm going to take my yellow and blow it up about six pumps. Which leaves me with about that long of a tail. And I'm going to take my white balloon and just blow it up like two or three pumps. Just like that. And before I tie this balloon off, to save myself a step, I'm just going to tie these two together. This is a lot like starting a penguin. Just a little bit different. Okay? Now, I'm also going to do one of my orange balloons. About four or five pumps also. Doesn't matter too much. And I'm gonna actually start with the beak for the with the we're using the orange for the beak. So to do the beak, it's real easy. I'm just gonna fold over my balloon at the beginning and make a little loop using the nozzle there to lock it in. Okay? And I'm gonna make the bill. So I'm gonna make a bigger loop. Almost like it's bigger than my hand. Well, almost. <laughs> but before I twist this together, I'm going to really squeeze this and try to get it to shape. So it's a little bit curved like that. And then I'll make the twist. And then we're going to do one more little loop like this for the other cheek. So we've got this much. And now we can get rid of the rest of this. And just twist that around or tie it off to keep it from coming undone. All right, now we're gonna take our yellow and white balloons that we have tied together, and I'm just gonna start with the white, and I'm just gonna make two small bubbles. They're not round bubbles, but they're only like an inch and a half or two inches, like this. We're gonna twist those together for the eyes. And then we're going to bring our yellow balloon up over the top and wrap it around those. So we've got that, and we'll just twist that all together at the bottom there. So that's going to be his head. Okay? Now, at this point, I like to take his beak, and you're just going to combine these two together at these joints. So just twist them together. You can use his cheeks or these extra balloons to wrap around to get them all twisted on there. Nice and tight and secure. So we've got a head coming together there. And the rest of this white balloon we don't need. So we'll get rid of it. So now we've got our duck head. Hey! <laughs> so now I'm just going to give them a little neck. They don't have very long necks. And I'm going to put a pinch twist right here to help stabilize his head and neck. So he's facing up. And then for his body, it's just a three bubble bird body or roll through, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to do about a four inch bubble. Fold back down and twist together. And then for this third loop, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than these two. And I'm going to squeeze it, make it nice and soft. You want to make it a little bit bigger so it curves down like that. So I'm going to twist it at the size I want. And I'm going to roll it through with my thumb and face that larger bubble on the bottom. And that's his little belly. Okay? And with this piece that's left over here, this can be his tail. You can leave it like that. I'm actually going to put a little pinch twist at the base of this one. And that will make his tail stick up. It's a little bit cuter. <laughs> so you can see the duck. Um, you'd make a good, you could stick him on a hat like this. Um, I'm just going to give him some feet. So I'm going to take my other orange balloon, just blow 
Load up about four or five pumps. Not too specific on this one. And for the feet, I just do a small bubble at the beginning. And then a small loop by folding the balloon over and twisting it. And that's one foot. And then I'm going to take the rest of this balloon and we're going to feed it through the belly here. So it's going to go right here in between in that hole. And just slide it through till those feet are about as long as you want them. And I usually give them really short legs, so don't do them too long. It'll start to look like a flamingo. So I'm going to do the other foot here. So we're going to fold the balloon over to make another little loop. And then twist a circle or <laughs> a small round balloon here. And then we'll get rid of the rest of this. And tie that off. So now it kind of looks like he's doing the splits. <laughs> Which might actually be kind of cute. So you can leave them like this. Or what I usually do is I bring these legs down together and just twist the feet together. So that he's standing like this. Ta -da! So that's the duck. Let me draw his eyes on so you get the full effect. One eye.